okay, we need to find the x and y intercepts. So if we're going to find the y intercept, that means make the x 0. So then, wait, I need to switch over here. Here we go. That helps. So for a y-intercept, we make the x's 0. That means this is 0. We get a 0 there. That's a 0. We get a 0 there. And we wind up with a y value of 36. So writing that as an ordered pair, we have 0 for the x and 36 for the y. And that is our y-intercept. Okay. Now for the x-intercepts, we want to come up with y equal 0, right? So we do have values for x. So that means this becomes 0 for the y equals this thing. And that is one of two things, either being able to factor this or using the quadratic formula. So, yeah, if we, if we want to look at this again in terms of what we know, here's a perfect square, right? 36 is a perfect square. Okay, so then to see if this is going to be one of those a plus b squared things, what do we do? We take the square root of this, which is 6. We take the square root of that, which is x. We multiply them together, that's 6x. We double it, that's 12x for the 2ab, right, the middle term. So this, we should instantly be able to recognize as this type of a thing here, 0, where y is a 0. And this equals x plus 6 squared. Okay? And again, if this is a plus here, then we get the plus down here. If this were a minus, then we'd have a minus down here. So this means what? That we, the, the x-intercept is only one x-intercept. Yeah. So this is basically, if we look at it spread out, it's x plus 6 times x plus 6, right? That's a squared thing, which means the actual value of x would have to be, again, when this is 0, that means either this is 0 or that's 0. Well, they're the same, right? So once we figure out a 0 for 1, we got it for both. And if I already have a plus 6, to make this guy be a 0, I guess this better be a minus 6. So minus 6. And so to write this as the ordered pair for the x-intercept, all we have to do is we do have an x value. It's this. We don't, well, we do have a y value, but the value itself is 0. That's why we put this in here for y. That becomes our y value here, and that's it. This is our x-intercept.